Hello. The question is, find the sine of 2x if the cosine of x is equal to 5 thirteenths and x terminates in quadrant 2. That's a good question. And here's how I would go about answering it. First, I would draw a circle. Then begin filling in the information that we know. We know that the cosine is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And so we can draw a line here. We'll call this A. We can draw another line here. We'll call this B and another line here and call it C. And the cosine is equal to the adjacent. We know the adjacent is five. So I'll type a five right there. And we know that the, the hypotenuse is 13. So I'll put 13 right there. And then we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the length of the side uh, C, which is the opposite side. So down here, I'll put uh, 13 squared which is 169, is equal to 5 squared, which is 25, plus b squared, b squared. And so uh, that means that b is 12. And so the opposite side over here is 12. 12. Alrighty. Now we'd like to find the angle that is right in here. And I'll call this angle X. And that's a little bit low down, but uh, you can see that once we find that angle, then we'll be able to find the exact angle for uh, the x that's in, uh, in the sine of 2x. And then we'll be able to find out, uh, find out more. And so to get, get the x angle right here, you need the law of cosines. And the law of cosines holds that um, 12 squared is, that's the opposite side, is equal to 5 squared, which is 25 plus 13 squared, which is 169, minus 2 times the adjacent side, which is 5, times the opposite, excuse me, times the hypotenuse, which is 13, times the cosine of x. Uh, the cosine is the cosine of x is the cosine of the little uh, angle that I labeled uh, x in there. And so once you've computed it and then solved for for uh, x there, then you'll know more. And I'm about out of time, so I hope that at least gets you started.